What's going on, Comfort Killers? Stacey A. Cross here. There's no E in my name. Author of The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success, a book about personal development, self-improvement, and exactly what to do when you're ready to transform. Exactly how do you take the step from here to there. So I, I laid that out in my book. Um, I wanted to come today to just say, listen, first of all, I appreciate you. Uh, I know I've been getting a few subscribers here and there, but what will really help me out is if you share my videos. If you love my content, if you love what The Comfort Killers is all about, the movement of it, like the whole personal development scope of The Comfort Killers getting out of your comfort zone, like really beating yourself, <laughs> beating yourself up out of it, um, definitely would love if you share my videos. What I, I realize is that the engagement is pretty low. Um, that's all my fault because I don't even ask you to do that. So I just want to, you know, go ahead and like, go ahead and, and share this video and all my videos that you like that, that, that helped you out inside your network. Okay. Cause it could help someone else. So just think of it like that. Cause you know, when it says each one teach one, like all it is, is one person you send that out. Um, the law of statistics will take care of that. And, um, you, you know, the comfort killers philosophy will always be strong. So go ahead and do that. And I appreciate that. A couple of things, you know, on my podcast, the Stacey A. Cross show, I have a, it's going to help all the entrepreneurs out there. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're thinking about starting a business, new, growing or experience, uh, this podcast that I just released with Nick Holiday, uh, he's the VP of customer success over at the success engine. And he talked a lot about marketing, digital marketing, email marketing is email marketing dead. Okay. Are there other mediums, channels to use to get, um, you know, to start romancing your customers? I want to help you out because it's part of the comfort killers really is that comfort zone to, for me, it was to get away from the nine to five and to really go into this business aspect, really build a business. Now the comfort killers, as you know, is a personal development, uh, platform and also, you know, just a conglomerate of all these people that I work with and helping them put out their products and, and just focused on self-improvement, like the inner self-improvement. But once you develop your, yourself, you're going to create a mindset that says, I'm no longer okay. I'm no longer okay with status quo. I'm no longer okay with the nine to five. I want to build my own thing. You know, um, I want to be my own boss. It's okay to say that I want more money. I was watching a video online and I, and I love testing this out and you should probably test it out on yourself too. And you're going to see if you're going to get this, these feelings here. Okay. The, there's a queasy feelings that happen and this is how you test yourself. So the question is, you know, well, why are you in business? Why are you in business? Um, you know, why are you a coach? Uh, why did you go, why are you a real estate investor? Why are you a, um, real estate agent? Okay. Why are you selling this? What's your product? You know, whatever your product or services, whatever the reason for you getting into uh, business, what is that reason? And I was watching a video and it was, uh, with real estate and I believe it was Bellino. He's a cool cat, you know, and, uh, he's, he has a group in a workshop and he asked the question, Hey, why do you guys want to become a real estate agent? What was the reason why real estate, you know, why you want to do this? And a few hands went up. And the first one, you know, questions and the answers was, you know, I like people. And the second one was, well, you know, I, I love, I love the homes. Like I love the actual real estate, like real estate, real property. And, and he was like, I never understand why people just don't say I like money. Like I want money. I want to be good. I want to be good so I could be good with, for other people, my family, my kids, People have a real hard time saying that. Now, I'm going to ask you, if you are in business, if you are thinking about getting in business, or if you're an experienced entrepreneur, I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, yeah, why got to be so big that it keeps you up at night? You know what? Well, well, I don't want to be, what, 70 years old. My man um, Lance says this the other day. I don't want to be 70 years old in a hospital, in a nursing home, eating freaking like chew, um, mashed up green beans or something like, you know, like I don't, I don't want to be able to live my life, enjoy my life. I don't want to be living on social security checks. Um, you know, I just don't want to do that. Like you have a choice and it's okay to say, listen, I'm in business because this gives me the best ROI for my talents, man. And I want that ROI. Okay. So that's all of that four minutes and 35 seconds to tell you all of that. But I really want to say, go ahead and share the comfort killer stuff, go ahead and share my stuff. It's okay. Like I never said it before, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's okay to share it. It's okay to put it in your network. Um, 
So go ahead and listen to that podcast. And it's with Nick Holiday. It's on thecomfortkillers.com right now. And I just launched the Hustlers Ambition podcast with Thelonia C. Jones, the realest real estate investor, um, and also Stephen Holtz, who's also a real estate investor, credit finance. The whole podcast, Hustlers Ambition, it's for hustlers, it's for comfort killers, but it's more geared around finance and, and getting your money right, credit, and all of that. So that's also at thecomfortkillers.com. I would implore you to go do that. Today, I want to talk about all of that to say. Today, I want to talk about the detaching yourself from whatever you you can't seem to do without uh one of the things that keeps you in a a downward spiral is the inability to detach yourself from what you think you can't seem to uh do without for me the downward spiral was okay uh gambling okay i i can't seem to do without this thing like i so i got over that but also even on another scale, my nine to five, okay, my job, my employer, I was being validated through them. I wasn't, you know, validating myself. And I'm not telling you to go jump off the bridge, okay, today or tomorrow, you have to build up your mindset for it. And, and you need a lot of self-improvement to do this, but understand that you have to detach. Maybe you're detaching yourself from a relationship that's not going anywhere. You know what a, a thriving relationship looks like. Okay. Maybe you got to detach yourself from that, or maybe your past, your past failures, how to detach yourself from your past failures. The sooner you do that, the sooner you detach yourself, the sooner you feel better, the sooner you begin transformation. If you're looking for transformation, true transformation, you have to detach from something, right? Don't you agree? We got to get rid of something we have to, um, and it's not adding more to us. It's really just getting rid of something. So You could waste a lot of time. And why are we scared to detach? We're scared to detach because we fear the unknown, okay? We fear the unknown. But there's a personal power, okay, inside. And I'm just looking at at this notes here. There's a personal power inside that we could create new realities. But we can't create new realities with the same old attachments, okay? So without knowing that there is a pattern to the creative process, and this is what I want to tell you, a creative process, you could actually get out faster. And the create um, the, the creative process, and I spoke about this in, uh, what did I, I actually have a podcast on it. So go ahead and go to the Comfort Killers and, and, and listen to the entire podcast about the creative process. And that creative process is create, persist, and destroy. Create, persist, and destroy. A lot of people, okay, stay in the destroy phase. Now, when we create, That's the desires. That's the burning feelings. That's I got to do something. I want to transform. I have all these things I want, you know, and you start putting it out there and you really start setting a reality for yourself. Okay. And then the persist is exactly what it it sounds like, right? The definition to, to keep it going actually to coast on this now, you know, um, you, you've achieved something that you created, you achieve something that you put your mind to in the create phase. Right. And then you go around this loop and then destroy is you created it. Now what? Now what? It's there. Now what? It's like when we start getting despair, we start feeling like we are inadequate. We start feeling like we don't have what it takes and we start getting dis- depressed a little bit, a little bit of apathy. Jealousy comes in this destroy period. Why? Because you've already achieved something. It's long gone. There's nothing. Like, think about this. When we want a new relationship with someone and someone that we love, like we actually love looking at them. We like their conversation. We're like, man, we got to get in a relationship with this girl, with this guy. And you go ahead and court them. Like you put the desire out there. That feeling in that create space. Tell me that feeling is great, right? Like you will do anything. Like you put, you have a beautiful imagination about the relationship, how it's going to be. You have, you set the intentions out there and boom, you get the girl, you get the guy. And then you're in this persist phase and you build a relationship. You, you know, you have a couple kids, you got a couple things going on and it's just, it's just there. Or maybe you got comfortable and, you know, you start coming home and you're just watching TV. Your girl, a guy is just, you see what I'm saying? So you could be in this persist part for a while. And then what happens? Something takes a turn. Something takes a turn. You you set a goal. You like the girl, a guy. You got the girl, a guy. And then you're just coasting and then something takes a turn. Now you start feeling this resentment. 
Okay, now you start feeling like I should, you know, is this worth it? You know, what am I gonna do? I hate about, I hate this about them. I hate that about them. You start picking up all these things that add the fuel to this destroy period, and the faster you get out of it. Now, I want to tell you how to get out of that. Now, and this is what I want to tell you how to transform yourself. Now, this is the creative process that works in anything with anything. And I want you again to go to thecomfortkillers.com. Find the episode, search, create, dist uh, persist, destroy. And you're going to get the full episode on this because that's really important. You've got to get the juice, the under, the underbelly information on this. You can't just take the surface information I'm about to give to. Woo! You saw that? I'm about to give to YouTube. Um, so how you do that? How you do that? How do you get out of destroy? Because we're always seem to be in destroy. And some people could be in destroy for like years. Two years, four years, 30, 30 years they could be feeling this way, bad, down, depressed, suppressed, you know, all of it. All right, so here's here's how you get out of it. Create new goals. Create new things. You see what I'm saying? That, like, how easy is that? It's, the, it's a cycle. Create, persist, destroy. So all you have to do is create something new. So create something new in within the relationship if you want it to get better. If you want it to keep moving, as soon as you achieve that thing, create another one. As soon as you achieve getting, a, get, grabbing a business or making the plunge or doing whatever, create another goal. We are goal striving, self discovery in individuals, humans. We are always striving for something to achieve something. And the moment we stop striving, the moment we stop, Stop desiring. The moment we stop wanting, guess what happens? We destroy ourselves. That's the key. That's the key. I want to give you more information on create, persist, destroy. Again, go over to thecomfortkillers.com. If you haven't uh, already purchased my book, why not? Tell me why not. Tell me Tell me the thing. Is it, is it too expensive? You don't believe in it? Why? Why haven't you purchased my book? If you're ready to purchase my book today, head over to the uh, to the old Amazon or go to thecomfortkillers.com, click books, and then go through that bit, and you can go ahead and get my book. I appreciate it. Again, I implore you. I give you. I give you permission to send this out into your network. Don't be afraid to send this out into your network. I haven't said it before. It's my fault. Take res I take responsibility for this. And I want the engagement to go up on these videos, okay? That's a goal of mine. I want the engagement to go up on these videos. I think the information is is very good information, content that you could use, okay? Relatable, okay? Not debatable, relatable. Uh, but I want, you know, overall, I want you to have a beautiful day, a beautiful life. So head over to thecomfortkillers.com. There's articles there. There's things there that you could do. And I got a, a, a three, a, maybe a five video series that I'm, you know, uh, giving away how to get uncomfortable right now. So just go in there. It's a free video series. It's nothing that I need other than your email. Okay. Uh, just so you could get them so you could sign in and get them and that's it. So I am Stacey A. Cross and there is no E in my name. I appreciate you, uh, giving me this time and, uh, enjoy your day. Like I said, remain uncomfortable. I am.